Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Marshawn and I am your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they so deserve and desire and of course want. So today we're going to be talking about the four ways to get rid of the I will be happy when syndrome right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So the first way to get rid of the I'll be happy when syndrome is to focus on who you are becoming. Yes, focus on who you are becoming and not who you were in the past because your past does not define who you are unless you stay in your past. So as long as you are continuing to grow, as long as you are continuing to move forward, then you will be happy. And you don't have to worry about, I'll be happy when. Focus on where you're at, focus on where you're going, and you will be happy. The second way to get rid of the I'll be happy when syndrome is to think about what skills you are actually building. And be grateful and happy for their skills no matter where they are, even if they are not fully developed yet. So be grateful, be happy. You are learning a skill, you are building into that skill, and at some point, you will master that skill. You just got to keep going. The third way to get over or move past the I'll be happy when syndrome is to focus on other people. Because when you stay focused on yourself, you actually start to get off track. But when you know what your why is or you are focusing on other people, maybe even your spouse, maybe your children, maybe some stranger out there who you know needs your help. When you focus on other people, it makes it a lot easier for you to be happy in that current moment. Because actually when you focus on other people and when you start to give to other people, it's actually a selfish thing. It's selfish because you yourself actually are is happy um, in that moment <laughs> when you start to give your time, when you start to give your money, whatever it is that you're actually giving to another person because you are focusing on somebody else, you are happy in that state. So literally giving is a selfish act. It's selfish because you are happy doing the thing and then you also get to see the other person become happy because you were being selfless in that moment. The fourth and final way to move past the I'll be happy when syndrome is to focus on the progress that you are actually making already because when you start to focus on that progress, it gives you the momentum to push past and it actually kills that frustration or that frustrating feeling that we start to have when we stay stagnant, when we don't know what our goal is and especially when we're not trying to attain said goal whether it's career or money your you know even getting a spouse it could be a, a goal of yours when we stop progressing toward that goal and we stay stagnant we definitely are like I'll be happy when I get that person and a lot of things that we have to thinking about the I'll be happy when syndrome is usually you're not happy when you get that thing so I'll be happy when I get a spouse. You're usually not happy. Then you'll be thinking about the next stage. I'll be happy when we get married. And then as soon as you get married, then you're thinking about the next step. I'll be happy when we have children. And then you have children. I'll be happy when we have another child. It's always you're going to be building and building and trying to grab for that next thing. You're never, ever, ever going to be satisfied. When you are focused on, on the I'll be happy when syndrome, you have to be happy today, right now. Think about these things, definitely start to incorporate them into your life because as I said before, happiness truly is a choice that you make.